All right, number three on the list. Uh, we'll make this one quick. The Big Ten. Uh, listen, I know, I know <laughs> number everyone. Number three. <laughs> I know what? Now, hang Are on a second. Are you kidding me? Hang on a second. Who's making the list? Hang on a second. Now, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> number three. Here's here's the thing. Spin zone coming. <laughs> Illinois doesn't have Kofi Coburn. Uh, we already you already okay. covered it. The Dan Gabbett rigged the, the stack the deck. Uh, yeah. They're they're playing on the road. Why is Illinois on the road? Why is Ohio State on the road? Yeah. Why is uh, who else is on the road? Michigan State, you made go on the road. Who else? The, like ha- it felt like half the teams had to Michigan go on the road. Michigan State played well, by the way. That was a good game Michigan for them. Michigan State did play well. Yeah. Um, it felt like half of our teams had to go on the road. That's not fair. The the Big Ten should be hosting all of these games. So first of all, the deck was the, the deck was stacked. Uh, Illinois doesn't have Kofi Coburn. Ohio State doesn't have Justice Suing or Seth Towns. Uh, <laughs> Purdue's look great, by the way. Purdue's like actually the 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 one team that we believe I believe in in the Big Ten. They didn't play in the Gavit games. Maybe you, you you let Purdue play Villanova. Maybe they smash Villanova at home and people have are singing a different tune. I don't know. I'm just throwing out some hypotheticals here. I don't know. The only Big Ten team to win in the Gavit games, Michigan State, Indiana. Six and two for the Big East. Michigan State blew out Butler. No one's talking about that. The spread was three. Mm. They won by 21. Why is no one talking about that? Interesting. I just find it interesting is all. Uh, ultimately, the takeaway with the Big Ten is this. Ohio State was injured. Uh, that game, throw it out. Bad matchup. Uh, Michigan and Maryland suck. That's basically what happened. <laughs> That's the whole reason this narrative is formed is because Michigan and Maryland suck. Mm. Why? And you want me to be upset about that? That Michigan and sucks State. at home? Yeah. <laughs> and Maryland sucked at home? <laughs> like, is that what you, like, Ohio State at least went on the road. We lost in a, yeah. in a hostile environment, you know? I respect that. Like, if we're losing at home to DePaul, then, yeah, I'm worried. But we, we'll, we didn't. We'll see know? how upset I am based on number two and number one. So, there it is. Like, the Big Ten, I get it. It's not looking great. Early returns are not great. But uh, but maybe this is good news, right? Because usually you guys are hot out the gate. You're beating point. everybody, that's and then we point. get to March, and you run out of steam. Yeah, underestimate us. Yeah. Go so ahead. So, maybe Go ahead. it's better be the underdog. Yeah, yeah, be the underdog. All First right, time. I like that. Number two, the Oregon Ducks. A oh team that God. I really believed in. Yeah, a team you that talked I, me into them. I put my neck out and said they're winning Maui, and now I have – I mean, i got to stick with it, but I don't like it. BYU beat Oregon by 32 with Phil Knight in attendance. And Blew Oregon. them out. The largest loss for Oregon ever as a ranked team. What was the other stat I saw? BYU is the first unranked team to win by 30 away from home against a ranked team since 1993. Year I was born. Or a top 15 team, not a ranked team. So they won by 30 against a top 15 team. Since 1993, that's not happened. That's insane. 28 years. Blew them out. BYU looks awesome, by the way. I think BYU should be a top 10 team. I think so, too. That seems a little overreaction. but Maybe top 15. Time, let's give them a top 15. Let's, let's make them 15. Marcelo was nuts. Their defense was – like, I, I was watching that game, and I felt like I was watching Iowa-Oregon except flip from the NCAA tournament. Mm-hmm. Where, like, no matter what Oregon tried to do, BYU would just stonewall them. And then our, Marcelo on the other end was hitting everything. And uh, I don't know. We love BYU. The, the the real takeaway is Mark Pope is he has our attention. He's got something cooking. Yeah, when we when we kind of fell in love with him in 2019 at the Maui Invitational, obviously first year on the job, had some holdover guys, but you could see the writing on the wall that the team loved him. The team yeah. believed in yes. him. The, the team was uh, attuned to what he had going on. And now you know, obviously that season gets riddled. Nothing works out. They kind of got off the path a little bit as far as, like, our purview. We weren't talking about BYU. Mm-hmm. We do our Pac-12 update, but somehow Mark Pope wasn't finding his way in there. But now it's our time. We have to focus in on BYU. We have to give them their due. Yeah. And they're a sneaky team. They're a dark horse team. And when you look at the odds of Dash, they were something insane, like 300 to 1 or something like that. And now we're talking, like, top 20 team and a team with a lot of upside, that would be insane odds to give them because they looked the part, at least in this one game. I wonder what the odds are for them to win the WCC to beat out Gonzaga. I bet those odds are very high. They are the team. I don't know how odds They are the team, though. If you're (laughs) Gonzaga, you're excited that you have them in the WCC because you have a test in your conference, finally. Yes, they're going to be a test. They're they're very much going to be a test. In fact, they're going to lose at BYU. That's that's a guarantee. I guarantee it. Ooh. Stamp it. Nice. Stamp it. I it's like happening. That. I'm with that. Uh, number one on the fraud power rankings. Uh, Oregon, though, you you suck. And, and, and I, I should have I, – let, let me finish the Oregon thought. Uh, I, I, I won't forget that loss, by the way. Like, that, that's what, what stung the most wasn't just that they lost and that they got blown out. It was like that, – that was like a that, – that felt like a loss that come March I'll be going to fill out my bracket and I won't be able to get it out of my head that Oregon lost by 32, basically at home, to BYU, to an unranked BYU team. I won't be able to get it out of my head. Yeah. So I might I might have just sold every ounce of Oregon stock <laughs> I had just based on that one game, which seems ridiculous, but, like, that's how bad they looked. I don't I mean, know. I they're 500 I don't know how you team shake now, them. too. Yeah. Yeah. 
Anyway, number one on the fraud power rankings for the second consecutive week, Tony oh Bennett. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tony Bennett. Wow. Virginia fans are going to be up in arms, but blown out by blown Houston. Blown out by Houston. And that's what hurts the most, was that Houston. This was, was a fraud was a off. Yeah. This was a fraud <laughs> off. I was hoping that Tony would, would, would really just, you know. He would sniff out the fraud. Yeah. Did not happen. And now you put me in a position, Tony, where I have to compliment Houston. And, and suddenly, like, I'm walking back a lot of things I've said about Houston basketball because Houston has my attention now, Tate. They have my t- this is all I've wanted from Houston this whole time was just to a quality the, win to beat the hell out of Tony Bennett's worst team he's had in over. A I was going to say the, <laughs> the worst part about this is that it doesn't even really help Houston as far as a resume because it does seem like Virginia. This is going to be a really down year for them. I've had a lot of Virginia fans reach out to me talking about the recruiting class for next year, uh, how loaded it is. Yeah. They're bringing in so much talent. Great. You know how many times that that has happened with. But these the top point programs? is, you're Virginia. You're not like yes. you're supposed. If you're going to be a blue blood, it's got to be every year. Every year. Hey there! Thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.